Amen. It's the ISO God Sensei, greatest known 2K in existence. I'm gonna be giving you the best jump shots for every build, every archetype, every height, every play style in NBA 2K25. Wanna learn how to shoot 65% plus from three? This is the video for you, man. Also, the best jump shots for every rating. Also, man, for you NPCs that make horrible builds. This is the most important 2K video you're gonna watch because if you learn how to shoot, you are better than 70% of the 2K community, okay? So share this video with people who can't shoot shoot which is everyone <laughs> before we get into everything y'all make sure y'all subscribe if y'all are new man and hit that like button if w tips man so firstly here is so far my favorite jump shot it seems the most consistent man it got a nice release height it's the baby t man for some reason man Kyrie, cam they're they not as good as feel like i have more control over my jump shot and also i use this on my lock too because y'all know meta locks by the way if you making a lock like a meta lock lock and he's not six four you're tripping okay you get the best everything Super Speedy Gonzalez, maxed out strength. But yeah, I also use this on my lock too, right? And I be going crazy. And for the guard, now look, this jump shot right here is what I like to use on taller ISO builds or spot ups, poppers, whatever. I think this one's the best overall, okay? It is also a T Mac clone. Feel like you could time it easier, man. Got real control, it got nice height, good release speed. Feel like you got a real high make percent on. No, y'all see it, y'all see it. Look, here's a jump shot for you NPCs that make guards with lower shooting okay i've been reading that that's a problem from some of y'all's comments i do not recommend you guys do that you're really tripping and also stop making inside centers if you can't score effortlessly under the rim every time cheesy never make an inside center unless you have a team if you play with randoms stop making inside centers when you go play rec or no squad with randoms flame everyone with an inside center you have to shame them i don't know how many years it's going take guys the nba's change you guys are clogging up the paint you're putting the best defender in the paint and you're useless most randoms can't shoot so then you're clogging up them driving it is horribly self selfish bro stop making inside center it's ridiculous it's it shows your brain iq guys. again if you can't cheese and score under the rim every time to where you draw a double or triple to be stopped do not make an inside center that's for teams real teams where you got a cheese and guard okay other than that don't do it you're making the game harder you might be able to get the win all this and that but you're making the game way hard bro it's pathetic guys come on evolve get with the game you're holding back everyone a lot of people aren't aware that they're being held back yeah you just got someone with damn a seven footer with 93 block just standing in the paint with the highest interior think bro it's <laughs> People are so cooked. But look, Bronny James, okay? This is actually a good jump shot. I know y'all might think it's troll. It seemed like it got a good green window just as much as uh, the other jump shots <laughs> that are like meta. Like, I'm so serious. Okay, I know that stability low, but look, you get it at a low rate. You want to troll with people or make a video? Try it. Trying to tell you. Look, I got another troll jump shot. <laughs> Barnett, okay? You want to troll people? Hey, you can hit with this. Huh? You can really hit with it. Look, you see the grades? Now, the, the release timing or the release height, it is low, but you do fade backwards so maybe that somewhat makes up for it i'm telling you you can hit with this so serious so serious now here is another jump shot for low ratings okay now look this could even be just as good as the other one don't pay much to attention to the release speed because it doesn't always tell you the accuracy of how fast the jumper actually is but this is this is a decent jumper especially for lower ratings man huh? try it even if you got a different uh or a higher shot you know see, see if it work with you. look we got jamal murray it's a new jump shot base a good jumper my boy you see it. here's a good jumper for the tall builds gotta be 610 plus for you npcs with low midi and three point here goes another one for you guys guys you should not be making centers with this little shoe unless you was some cheese okay and you are god shouldn't be doing this bro so serious here's another op jump shot for 610 plus one of the best okay Kyrie is my second favorite uh jump shot i'm not counting patty mills or uh kpj those are you know but you gotta you gotta unlock those i'm not counting those yet. but i like this one better than cam thomas i don't know man. here's another great tall build jump shot that's scotty pippen man scotty pippen jalen and culver are the best jump shots for taller builds the popper is all okay so try those out. it's probably the best build or best jump shot for taller build okay, your popper your big centers isaac is the truth man okay prince is a great jump shot i'll be making a lot of whites with it man i'm telling you man try it out it could be could be on the the same level or it could be above them here's another jump shot for y'all bigs and don't be making your shoe in this low okay don't do it man unless you have a okay guys 
very self it's like making a pg that can't shoot he can only slash how selfish is that like come on he can only run to the rim and hold square he can never shoot that makes it to where everyone's just overcrowding the paint like if the defender understands and knows that guy can bait every it's, it's, it's just so rich bosh is one of the best 610 plus jump shots trust me try it out man subscribe like subscribe like there's a lethal hot zone glitch. They done already nerfed it in the new patch. This Chad guy posted posted it. And this is basically what he doing, right? You know, he give you a little tutorial. And look, they made it easier, so you probably don't need to do it. And also, there's another finesse glitch. If you don't get your hot zones, um, and you go to lethal, even without getting your red spots, if you go and get the hot spots, right, and you just go shoot up, shoot versus him off rip, he will shoot worse. I don't know if it that's how it is after the patch. Y'all also let me know y'all's experience versus lethal after the patch because they said they nerfed him very good because you had to shoot nine out of ten in this damn RNG shooting. It's ridiculous. But in this hot zone glitch, man, they saying all you gotta do is join, pick three spots, quit, and then also after you get your red spots. All you got to do is go shoot in the like lethal percents and then they will actually turn purple later on. That is what a lot of people say. But he's saying quit as soon as it starts, then close app, join new park and repeat. And he said that's how you get his hot spots. Y'all let me know. A lot of people said it actually works. I don't know if it works after patch. It was this done on the patch? I don't think so. But they made it easier, man. So I, I don't know. Some people are too lazy to actually do it. So maybe that can help. Look, here the here the my career method real quick, right? Look, bro, all you're going to want to do is put the game mode on rookie, right? And then you're just going to catch and shoot and shoot right over them. Go to your spot that you want the hot spots. Put it on five minute quarters or you can put it on whatever minute you want and you can get all your hot spots. Do not play online until you get your hot spots. Every three point zone, get your hot spots. Look, it's very simple, man. You don't even got to dribble. You don't got to do nothing. Just look, just shoot it green and you could just keep doing that you can stay down there look the shoot it don't matter it's on rookie they're not going to contest you even if you go down there just shoot the ball shoot 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 get your hot spots dog same with the midi you could do a screen fade get your hot spots okay tell your friends also don't play online unless you get your hot spots i would say over 60 70 percent of the community doesn't have their hot spots and they're playing online bro. get your hot spots bro get your lethals man it's just lazy bro it's so important before we get into the rest of the tips 2k tuts did a test with a modded controller right he tested out low risk normal risk high risk so as you can see high risk with you know between these get you're hitting at a higher percent right 80 56 this you're not gonna hit as high but it's almost there right and then low risk it's a little lower than this one right then when you get to here right low risk you know it's eh. and it's like eh. but then look you hitting at a higher clip than the high risk and like the bottom tier you really can't time your shot look you can but look for the high risk you really missing it right so look Here's what I recommend. Of course, I'd say high risk. If you're decent at the game, you could really time your stuff and all that. But if you're pretty horrible and you're more averages, you can try out the normal, man. And you could be Gucci. But if you, you know, you somewhat with it, I would say go high risk, bro. But um, if you're like lagging, you're some foreigner and you got horrible internet, you can't get a LAN cable, you're always spiking, put on low risk, man. I mean, they letting it come on in the game. You could shoot 50%, you time it perfect. And then it's like way bigger. He did a chart basically showing like the green window. So like, you know, your range is like this, but it's like random when you gonna make it, you know? And you know, green is like you supposed to make it most of the time, but yeah. So 2K Tuts did another video, you know, 2K should actually be showing y'all this and he shows you the damn release points in this hole you know this is when you should be releasing it for jump off of what he's saying this is when you should be releasing it from set point and this is when you should be releasing it from push and then release is right here i prefer release now look 2k lab put out a video you know with a modded controllers testing out button versus rhythm shooting and you can see rhythm shooting is way better i mean if you can get that in your game and throw it in every now and then 
do it. You have way less room for error, a, you know, bigger green window. And yeah, even with the normal, you can mistime it and make it sometimes. So it's kind of crazy. Now, even in my other videos, I've been telling y'all about set shot specialists, right? 2K Lab did a video, right? Basically, make sure you get this at least gold in some way, either with your max plus one or getting the 89 midi or three point, and you will be able to shoot much easier. You should only have it with these. You're some type of God, right? And you're really trying to tap into something else. But but if you know there's a lot of lag latency if you want to deal with less of that you got to be gold plus okay he's saying this is the benefit you're gonna see if you invest more into it and all this and that this is the badge y'all need it's not just spot ups um any shot that's not fading it pops up okay you stop and shoot there's the limitless range y'all want to invest in it but uh, you should be playing on a monitor okay i know it sounds dumb but there's a lot of old heads in this world y'all gotta share this video you need to be playing on a monitor with all games there's a delay you're playing on some big 60 inch there's a delay it might look better or whatever but it's a bigger delay you need to be playing on a monitor like the benq asic whatever asic whatever it's called okay you need to be playing on a monitor i think i switched in like 2k 18 or something you know i was still a god at shooting back then but i don't know but y'all are even more delayed on a super del delayed game secondly very this is very important very, bro it's so important that i can't even explain you need to be making sure that you are ethernet cable from your playstation into your router that is fundamental to playing online games or you're going to be delayed you're going to get way more lag spikes etc need the ethernet cable there are super long ones you have to get it if your mama don't want you to do it or whatever you're gonna have to find a way to get your own internet in your room you have to do it okay or you will um be very unhappy now you don't gotta hardwire your controller there's actually videos out there saying you get less of a delay with your controller unplugged for the ps5 or something you can look it up yourself ps4 wasn't like that i'm pretty sure but for some reason for the ps5 if you play without it plugged in you get less delay i don't know but one thing for sure that i want to tell y'all is make sure you always play either without your controller plugged in or with your controller plugged in because they're two different delays. It's just like when, when you play in the rec versus the park, there are two different lag delays, latencies and lag spikes. When you do it with, you're adding a different factor. So when your controller start to die, you plug it in, you gonna notice that it, it just seemed different or you're just starting to miss. But, but trigger effect, this is very important. Please guys, please send this video to your friends. When I play with randoms, especially the old heads, dog, that you hear it, you hear it, bro. That's all you hear in their controller. <laughs> bro, you can't play like that. It's disrupting you, okay? This is okay, but the trigger effect is in. <laughs> bro, you gotta, you know, you got something tripping in your hand bro how can you play you know just when dribble it's gonna it's gonna intimidate you you're gonna mess up your shots it's turn it off guys okay now look your shot timing profile put it here okay either here or here you can start off here this description it says similar to previous 2ks but according to 2k uh 2k lab chart that's not true because that doesn't represent those 2ks or i don't i don't know hey now look bro 2k makes it to where you have to have shooting boost to be able to shoot consistent i know it costs vc but if you want to shoot as good as you can you gotta buy the uh the shooting boost bro that that's just how it is and it gotta do with your gatorade so make sure you're doing your gatorade drills and all that man and i think you even get a discount unless they took it out this year but gotta have jump shot boost and some form of gatorade so you know you have a bigger stamina meter and all this and that while you're moving around you shoot the ball hey you don't need all of them, but you need some of them, especially if you're a guard. They make you pay to play to uh, be consistent in the game. If you can manage without it, rock with it, but that's just how it be. Now, secondly, before you play online, okay, this is very important. You want to get your hot spots. Hit them through the My Career 12 minutes, lowest difficult, right? Or I'm going to show you all these courts. Now, look, to get your hot zones pretty easy, you're going to want to go to the Temple or the Dooms, okay? Look, let me show you. Wait, hold on. Where, where are that? Where are that? The Dooms, okay? Dooms or it's right here okay or you could do the my career lowest difficulty y'all let me know which is easiest so far look right here you got the board these people this is where you're gonna do it at man definitely need to get this badge max to be able to shoot consistently online man a lot of your shots are gonna be with this bad and a lot of your shots are gonna be with this badge too you need to get this up art of shooting gym this is where you're gonna want to go to get your purples get your reds first get your red hot zones first you're gonna go in here it looked clean it looked clean i don't know if it's just because it's new or what it looked clean to me feel me you know you know what we don't we don't look kind of clean you feel me it look clean 
but make sure you learn your shot before you actually attempt this i hear the gatorade drills closing app is patched someone let me know down below i don't know because y'all know if you mess up you could close that i don't know if you could close app on this like if you you're starting to mess up so you know figure that out let 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 me know so i can let everybody else know so you know we can have more fun on the game now of course you want to have no shot meter you get a 20 percent boost to your green window that's what they say it's way easier to shoot without it just do it i don't care it don't help you guys just do it bro trust me. now look some people in previous 2ks you know y'all know having all this stuff on and off look you could take off a lot of stuff the green release animations you could take it all off if you know some people believe that adds latency and lag to your player you know so you could take off a lot of these things no ball trail a lot of people shoot way better without the ball trail so you know you can have this type of stuff off even when it comes to the feedback some people have it off i always keep it on but some people turn this off and they say they shoot better so if you're really struggling or you're really delayed or laggy and you know, you, I mean, you could test this out, see if it helped, but you know, that's just a method. Anywho, click the video on the screen. If you want the best settings in NBA 2K25 to be a, uh, a dribble hot. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.